name is Dr. Lauren Hamelman. I'm at Northeast Allergy Asthma and Immunology in, in Newton, and I'm here today to explain how to administer inhalers. Not just how to give them to yourself, but also how to give them to your child. I think of inhalers in two kinds of categories, not when I'm discussing types of medications, but how we inhale them. There's the puffer type inhalers, and there's quite a few of them. These are the older type inhalers, and I have quite a few here. And this is not all of them. And there are also what are called dry powder inhalers. So the puffer inhalers, we like our patients to use with a spacer tube, which gives you a little space between your mouth and the inhaler. The more space you provide, the more the medication gets into your lungs. So what we do is we have people inhale. Now an adult or an older child, usually about six to eight years old, can do it this way. We put the inhaler in one end of the spacer tube and the mouth goes out over the other end. When you puff down, you need to breathe in and hold your breath for 10 seconds. So here goes one puff. Now you heard a little noise when I inhaled. That's actually too fast. That means I breathed in too quickly. So I'm gonna do it again so you see what it's supposed to be like. Puff. So I puffed down, I breathed in slowly, so slowly you couldn't hear that noise, and I held my breath for 10 seconds. Some of the spacers, like this one, make a noise. Other spacers, like this one, do not. Now when you give an inhaler to a child who can't really coordinate a puff and inhale and hold the breath 10 seconds, that's a lot to ask for a child, especially a three or four year old, or an infant, what you need to do is put the inhaler a put the inhaler and mask right on their face. When you put this over their mouth and nose, and this would fit a child better than it does me, it needs to cover their mouth and their nose, and you need to get a fairly good seal. You don't have to push it really hard, it just needs to seal against their face. When you puff down, they need to just breathe normally, but you have to wash them for six breaths. Some of the spacers have a little flap at the top, which I'll try and bring over to the camera. And in this little flap area, you can see a flap go in and out. It's pretty hard to show you on the video, but you will see a flap go in and out as they breathe. Other spacer tubes do not have a flap, like this one. And you can just put your hand on the child's chest wall and feel them do their six breaths. You do a puff, they breathe in and out six times. And then there's another category of inhalers called dry powder inhalers, where you actually don't use a spacer. You put your mouth right on the inhaler. This is one of the older ones. You turn it and open it. You click it, which loads the medication. You put this right on your mouth. You put your mouth on it, and you inhale. And you might taste it a little bit. If you didn't inhale properly, and you shake it out onto the table, which you can't see from this camera, you'll see a little bit of white powder. This is another one of the dry powder inhalers. You twist the bottom a couple times. It actually doesn't matter how many times you twist it. It only loads it once for this one. You put your mouth right on the, your lips right on the edge here. Inhale and hold your breath 10 seconds again. This is another one. When you twist it and open it, it actually loads the dose. One of the advantages of the new inhalers is that most of them have counters on them. So, on this one, you can see a counter and a little window. And on this one, again, a little window. This one has a counter on the side. And some of the puffer inhalers have counters in the back. That way you know when you need to go refill your inhalers. Please let us know if you have any questions and you want to review technique in the office with us if you're one of our patients. We'll be happy to do that with you anytime. Thank you.